Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. John Lopez UK here today. And uh, what you are, you guys are not on weed right now. This is actually Mad Out 2 with the graphics turned to the lowest. And yes, today we'll be making a Mad Out 2 graphics video to show you how, how all the graphics affect the gameplay and what is the best critical thing to run at. So uh, without further ado, let's get rid of this completely and let's start off with the with the video so going into our settings uh, if you look at this you can't even like online is online missions map weapons character transportation it's you can you can make them out easily but like it's just it's hard to really if from a far distance you can't really get them so uh what, what we're gonna do today is basically we're just gonna go over to um settings and immediately start changing things so what we want to start with today is the screen resolution. And we have, I actually have options at the top, fastest, fast, medium, high, and very high. These are all good, but let's turn everything back down because I'll be attempting to show you guys what the game doesn't, what the game shouldn't look like. If you guys have to play on this to get a full 60 FPS, uh, I'd recommend upgrading your device immediately. But for now, basically, screen resolution how it works is let's just go to a right now it's at 10 it, the game sucks you can it's it's all pixelated it's it's turned to complete crap now if we if we decide to if you're playing like this you better be taking a piss because that no way no way someone's able to record a screen recording now as we turn it up you can you can see that it, the game stop stops getting pixelated and eventually just take a look at the fences right there yeah Look how smooth they are compared to that. Well, you can't really see them in there, but right about there. Yeah, just look at how they look. It's just hideous. So, uh, screen resolution all the way up. That's what that does. Now, shadowing. Currently, we our player has no shadow. Now, this is simple through the, uh, the color, the object count, I meant. Um, can we just turn it up a bit? I'm fucking everything up today. I've had a bad day. Basically, yes, that's what that is. But if we just decide to turn the shadows on, this is what it will look like. The game gameplay won't be affected as bad. Still a 60 FPS. And uh, yeah, this is, ain't that good. It is not that good, to be honest. So uh, let's make it medium. What medium looks like. Yeah. Now let's go to high. Better than what was it? What do we start at? Uh, better than on because if it and things are more visible. Now uh, so let's leave that on high because why not? Object count. Let's just start with a simple twenty-five. All right, so this is not. Take a look around. As you can see, uh, if we decide to go through here and. Uh, decide to bring this up to a 25. 25. As you can see, we can uh, we can see everything better now. There's some stuff that's loaded in. Um, yeah, that's, that's how we, that's how I'm going to describe that. Uh, also color coordination. If we turn this to from off is what off looks like. They're low. I mean, there's not much of a difference through this one, actually. Medium. 
I mean, some people might be able to say it's a huge difference, but for me... It's not that big of a difference. For me, um, basically, yeah, okay. So now let's go check out the uh, the view distance. And currently at zero, it's, uh, let's just bring it to 100. And let me just show you the difference. So if you zoom in right there, you see that tree right there I'm zooming in on? Yes, you see how there's only a few trees? If I go over here and I turn view distance all the way up, as you can see, you can see some more trees in the background because they'll actually load in. Now, yeah, we're just going to use this. That's basically that. And now for the material quality, we will, you know, actually, let me just, uh, let me get a vehicle for this really quick. Um, uh, I'll just use the no soak. Yeah, I'll just use this one. So, all right, now for this, let me just uh, get in the car really quick. And now, uh, actually, you know what? Let me just park it up. Um, okay, let me just turn my shadows off really quickly because we'll be needing to turn those off. And let me just get out and show you guys what I mean by this. So basically here we have the car. Um, yeah, there's no reflections. There's no chrome bits, no black plastic bits. And now let's just go to material quality and turn it to fast. Now if you get out, as you can see the headlight. Yeah, so basically the headlights and the tail lights have gotten more detailed. And uh, basically, now we just need to um, check. Uh, now, let's go to medium. And with this, we can see that the vehicle is twice as detailed. We have reflections now. It's much, realist much more realistic. This is like what normal people play at. But if you want to see what maximum looks like, let's turn it up to maximum. So at maximum, we... Uh, oh, damn it. This car doesn't do it. Um, okay, then. Um, okay, let me just show you with the this really quick. I'm going to go to a... What's a good car? Oh, the Motorplot. The Motorplot has a... Has a... Yeah. Okay, let me just go there and show you guys. Other vehicles like these, uh, maybe. But they don't show it as well. Let me just go to the Motorplot and uh, let me just show you guys from there what it is. Here it is. Um, basically, what we have is, uh, you see that back, the roll cage, or chase rack, I, whatever you guys Americans call it. Um, basically, it's chrome and aluminium inside this, uh, this one. And uh, what we do is, let's just turn the material quality back down to maximum. And let me just show you guys. Right about... Oh, we passed it. Oh, there we go. So basically, it's... Uh, it's grey, it's plastic, it looks like something. So I keep them at ma maximum. Also, look at the ground right here, you see? Absolute no reflections. We turn this on, now we have a reflection from the sunlight. It, gives the, it just gives the mad out world some more uh, detail. And it's just better. So yeah, that's what that does. Let's move on to traffic density. This is just basically what you... What you guys will be using if uh, you want more vehicles to spawn or less vehicles to spawn. That's basically it. If you turn it all the way up, more vehicles will spawn. If you turn it all the way down, less vehicles will spawn. Basically that. I keep mine usually... Okay, it's turned all the way up, but vehicles won't start spawning until soon. Um, yeah. I turn mine all the way up just because I like to have realistic amount of traffic even though it's not realistic now for the texture filter let me just show you it's um well okay it might not be working on the ios version i might have i mean it works on mac it's uh it's supposed to be you see these cracks at the ground if you change them it will make them more detailed or less detailed depending on your choice also these sidewalk patterns and bricks and that whatever those will uh they'll be twice as detailed or less detailed your choice on the computer but on the iphone it doesn't seem to be working so uh yeah i'm just testing about yeah basically yeah we have basically nothing it's just oh cop well that's boring okay let's move on so uh next we have the full screen gui uh this is basically, let's go screen resolution. If we turn it all the way down and we turn the 
full screen GUI on. Look, check check this out. So the the menu is completely detailed. Well, the gaming is not detailed at all. Uh, aligning. Uh, this will affect your game by allowing you to see far off, like that building far off in the distance, right there. Basically, um, in when you put a screen resolution all the way up, it will become pixelated, but it will become the best quality ever. And then the aligning just uh, blends it in, so there are no rough edges. It all looks smooth. It all blends in. Looks twice as realistic. Damn it. That's basically that. And, uh, yeah. And then we have, uh, after that, we have the SSAO. I keep this off. It, uh, it messes with the game. It doesn't look good unless you want to look like you're a pervert. And there's, uh that which no one wants uh basically yeah vehicles might look twice as realistic that's uh, one good thing but look at the vegetation it's like it's like we put the game through development and we just completely stopped which we kind of did but not really um yeah but and then we have a human shadow above us which is not good we don't like that this is just something that you just don't want in your Mado 2 game it just ruins the whole thing. Shadows become screwed. Basically, yeah, yeah. You don't want to turn this on. And we get into vehicles. Just look at that. There's a, there's a shadow of you above the vehicle. How creepy. Or weird. Your choice. I don't even care. So I'll turn that off because I don't play with that. Motion blur. I think maybe we should see this. So if I spin the camera around crazy like this, basically you can see it. You can still see every detail. When you turn motion blur on. They just turn to medium. Basically, as you see, the world will start getting blurrier and it gives you a realistic feel. As in, if you're in a sports car, like my Mercedes Benz SLK, and you're driving, you'll be seeing blurs at the corners and it just looks more realistic. Can't really see it in this one, but you'll get it. You'll understand. Okay, and up next, we just want to talk about. The next setting which is the deferred shadowing this is actually a setting that i tend to keep on let me just show you right there um i tend to keep it on and because the reason for that is it just makes the game a hundred times more realistic for street races and people who want to use it for racing if you want to take a look um let me just show you guys really quickly if you decide to basically let's just go here it's stomp but all right, so let's turn it off and let's just head straight and slide the car in. There we go. That's a power slide. I'm just kidding. That's a, yeah, it is. That's front wheel drive. So basically, as you can see, there's just some smoke. And I want you to focus on that as we do our second attempt. Now, from the, for this attempt, we will turn it on. And just, Ray, watch it. You're about to see. Oh, there we go. You see that? Tire marks. How, how much of an improvement is that? Everyone needs tire marks in their life. Basically, yeah. That, and when you drive on sand, just look at that. We have tire tracks. Here's a good tip for you all. Uh, all of you children, if you're watching. Uh, don't fucking smoke drugs. Uh, smoke tires. If your parents don't like you smoking their car tires, just it doesn't matter. And uh, there's another thing about this, actually. Let's change the temperature to night weather let me change let's change the weather tonight and uh let's just um hold on one second normally my taillights would have a reflection on the oh look check that out my headlights have a reflection with this uh deferred shadowing effect and uh my taillights normally do i just don't know why they're not showing look at those bright black tire marks now oh look this oster has it right here this Oster and, uh, yeah, this one, that's what that basically does when you stomp on the brakes. It will, it will show, and look at that, it reflects off my, my human. So let's just get back into it, and let's understand this. It's basically, and when you turn it off, it won't show. And when you turn it on, it will. Let's turn it off. As you can see, the headlights don't really work now. And the brake lights don't reflect, they just show. Which isn't as realistic, but 
this thing does make a night and day difference, in my opinion. Your opinion, go ahead and do your thing. And it stopped working. That's one of our bugs we're trying to fix. If uh, if you're in a car, you cannot use that. And it reflects off other cars. As you can see. All right, then let's uh, let's move on to maybe our last setting. Let's just do a circle really quick. Eh, that's not that good. And, uh, okay, let's go to our last setting. Let's just turn it to main because that's what we typically do. And our last setting is uh, the vehicle deformation because if you crash your car, you want... What? Oh, okay. Uh, you want basically damage. The more damage, the better. Never mind, all these cars suck. They're fucking ass. Okay, basically, let's go smash into a vehicle that actually has... Oh, this one does. For transit. You see? Look at that. The vehicle crushes inwards. Damn it. Okay. And uh, let's say you smash into the side of it. Or let's say the Gomez right here. Look at that. You see? It dents in completely. Let me just show you a glitch. You could turn the car deformation on and back off. I mean, off and back on. And this will cause the vehicle to be repaired for free. It works in online with mods or whatever. You can do whatever you want now. Um, also, what, what we'll do is uh, basically just look, let's reverse it. And yeah, nothing happened. Okay. It's boring. That's boring. But you see the scratches on the side of the Gomez. And you want to keep this setting on. If you keep, if you're, if you keep this setting off, then you're an idiot. Because no one will want to keep this setting off. Everyone wants to see the vehicle damage. This won't affect your FPS. Keep this on. And look at that. With these settings, all these attached, my phone is still running at a solid 60 frames per second. How amazing. 60 frames per second. That is, uh, yeah, that is it. Um, and I don't have my MOPDFR mods anymore. That's me opening my menu because new phone. And that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all know what settings to use. This is John Lopez, and I am signing out.